the shit. <laughs> what are you? Why do you? What are you doing? Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Nick! Oh my god! Nick! What the fuck? What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and today what I have for you guys is something very interesting that was found within the PC files for Ultimus Tachio. A very interesting piece of dialogue that could easily be featured in the DLC4 remake of Call of the Dead. And I also have a little bit of an update in regards to Danny Trejo and the audio I featured for him in one of my previous Call of the Dead videos. So first off, when it comes to Ultimus Tachio, I'm going to play the following quote and you guys can let me know what this reminds you of. And Ancestors wheeling. I will remain in possession of my breakfast. <sighs> oh, I have nothing left to throw up. So when I hear that dialogue, it really reminds me of how Ultimus Tachio was acting when he was locked behind that big door in the original Call of the Dead. He continuously kept barfing. Good time. <laughs> oh, that's what you get for eating raw fish. <laughs> It was for comedic effect, but the fact that this is in the PC files right now and it's not in Blackout could of course mean one of two things, as I've said before, take it with a grain of salt, but what this could be is something that will eventually be added to Blackout, something for Ultimus Tachio specifically, depending on what they do when it comes to the next operation, or this could be a quote for the DLC4 remake of Call of the Dead. I guess at some point Ultimus Tachio will be on that map, assuming we'll see another mix of Primus and Ultimus as playable characters and maybe at some point they walk past that door, they do something, and Ultimus Tachio begins to puke, kind of uh, reminiscing on what Ultimus Tachio did in the original Call of the Dead. And obviously, this is the same Ultimus Tachio who experienced those events who would essentially be playable in the DLC 4 remake. So, something interesting to point out, but if any of you guys have heard that quote in Blackout before, if you've heard it anywhere, please let me know down below in the comments. Not trying to pass it off as an exact leak, but something that is worth noting and worth remembering uh, when the DLC 4 remake remake of Call of the Dead does come around very soon. Now, in terms of the update for Danny Trejo, this is where things get interesting because I had many comments in my previous Call of the Dead video where people did say that Danny Trejo does say, I wish George was here to see this. I wish George was here to see this. When you win a game of Blackout, but I personally have not heard that quote. I've won many games as Danny Trejo and have gone to many iconic zombies locations and still couldn't get the quote to play. I haven't had proof of any of that within an actual game of blackout but many people in those comment sections were talking about how they heard it so we'll just take that with a grain of salt and we'll put in the benefit of the doubt for the people who said that but you guys can also let me know again down below in the comments today if you've heard that quote as well when playing blackout but for all we know too pieces of dialogue because their budget is so low could be reused in both blackout and the actual game mode of zombies we just don't know so they could easily put in a quote for a specific gesture or a special order bundle they can use it for that in Blackout and can also just reuse whatever the line of dialogue is in an actual upcoming zombie map. There's nothing wrong with that and I think with their budget situation it would make the most sense to reuse certain lines of dialogue. Now this leads me into the next topic which has to do with Danny Trejo potentially being a major character in the DLC 4 remake of Call of the Dead and even the Black Ops 2020 reboot for the Ether storyline. So hear me out on this before you consider this fan fiction or some massive BS. I'm going to give you guys a bit of a recap on Pablo Marinus, a character that we have never seen in a zombie map, but I've heard quite a bit about. So ironically enough, we first heard about him in Call of the Dead. <laughs> In a radio where it's revealed that Pablo was actually Rick Toffin's Mexican test subject who was unfortunately killed when his spleen was removed. We then learned in a letter leading up to the events of Origins that Pablo's journal had been very valuable to actually help everybody find Element 115. Then in the Eisendrac, there's another projector showing some images and also showing that spleen on a tray, obviously labeled Pablo. We have some more ciphers about him in Gorod Krovi as well, and he was then replaced by Tank Dempsey 
as he was killed, then leading into the events of World at War and Black Ops 1. So his story is pretty interesting, but in another universe, as we learn in the official Zombies timeline, he was also around during the Great War era where he documented stuff about the Great War, the Keepers, and the Apothecans, and he was even saved by Primus, who he claims were wielding staves. So there's actually a quote from Pablo which reads the following, My name is Pablo, or at least I think it is, or was. I don't know anymore. I have been locked away, held prisoner in this cell for many months by German scientists. They keep experimenting on me, pumping me full of some blue liquid. I think it is responsible for the repeated visions I have been having, which I swear look and feel real. In my vision, my name is Pablo Marinus, and I am a knight coming back from the Crusades. I fight in a great battle against strange, demon-like creatures who are trying to devour the Earth. At one point, it appears I am doomed, trapped in the tentacles of a great three-headed beast or the Margwa, when suddenly four knights decimate it with magical elemental staves, saving me from certain death. There are other worldly creatures that fight on our side against the demons, the keepers of course. The creepy thing is that their sigils on their tunics resemble the ones I noticed on the stones here at the castle as I was being brought to my cell. I just hope I could eventually find a way to escape this place. This is Pablo describing his experiences as a prisoner and the visions he had when tested with element 115 when he was tested with this element, he wasn't able to see the memories of essentially his other self all the way back from the 1300s when the Great War was taking place. So one of the big important things about the Aether storyline is the fact that we have different versions and different incarnations of our characters. So as a bit of a recap, we obviously have Primus who go through the cycle of Black Ops 3 and obviously when they eventually pass on after the events of the Great War, they're then reborn and the events of Origins take place and so on and so forth. And I guess Pablo suffers a pretty similar fate where he's around during the Great War, documents all of it, Primus Richthofen later finds this journal allowing them to find one of five in northern France that's very important and all but then I guess elsewhere Pablo is also reborn but instead it's just a Mexican test subject for Ultimus Richtofen so very interesting how different incarnations of these characters still play pretty important roles and are still very important for the future of the Aether story so what I'm getting at is that they could easily retcon Danny Trejo as that Mexican test subject and would further explain why Danny Trejo just happened to be there during the events of Call of Dead as they were shooting that movie just maybe in this current universe somehow Danny Trejo or Pablo we could say somehow becomes an actor and then just happens to be there in Siberia which happens to be a very important location in Call of Duty Zombies history. So as silly as that may sound it kind of supports the recent things I've been going over which is the fact that we have Danny Trejo coming to Treyarch Studios to be a part of Operation Apocalypse Z but he couldn't have been there just for Blackout just to be a playable character just to be something that they can easily monetize in game within the black market. Obviously Obviously, since Call of the Dead is essentially his map, the one map he was featured on, it can't be a coincidence that he's just now getting back in touch with Treyarch right before that map comes out. I can easily see him making a cameo appearance at some point in this upcoming remake where maybe he can be this protector of some sort. It could easily be a bot that comes around and helps us, or he could be guiding us throughout the Easter egg of some sort. We just don't know. But again, it could sound silly, but to wreck on him as Pablo would make the most sense, gives a face to the actual name of Pablo himself and we could even see different versions of Pablo that do look like Danny Trejo and the way this leads into the Call of Duty 2020 reboot is the fact that the leaks we have so far contain information about how they're either going to be using campaign characters from this Black Ops reboot or familiar faces we've seen in the past for Treyarch Zombies in this new version of the Aether storyline and the other leak we have is the fact that what they have laid out as of right now is the wake up in a dark room strapped to a chair really brings back that eerie vibe that we had back in World at War or Nocturne and Toten specifically where you have no idea what's going on and it's more scary more on the horror side than what we've been seeing lately with the past few iterations of zombies so with that being said as we brought up many times in previous videos Ultimus Richtofen could either betray us or somehow use us to his advantage at some point and somehow take Dr. Monty's place become an overpowered god maybe Victus turning on those polarization towers doesn't really 
help us at all, but instead helps Ultimus Richthofen somehow gain an upper hand with more ether power, and once Monty is killed, Ultimus Richthofen himself can reset the cycle, and when the cycle resets, uh, he awakens in a world where there are no gods, there is no 115, there are no keepers or apothecans or primus to stop him, and instead, he just awakens his test subjects, and we can go from there, and maybe Pablo is one of those test subjects, and maybe even, instead of using the same old Primus or Ultimus characters in this Black Ops 2020 reboot, we could use those test subjects that we haven't even seen in game or have been playable in a long time. We could easily see a reboot where the test subjects that wake up could consist of Pablo, John Banana, Peter McCain, and maybe even Ultimus Dempsey, just to throw a familiar face in there, while Ultimus Richthofen could be the main villain of that game, or maybe he has some type of control that allows us to get power-ups. We have no idea, but with the Ether reboot inbound, obviously it allows for new people to come in and start playing Treyarch Zombies and not have to worry about all the baggage from the previous four Black Ops games or all that other backlog and all those other characters. You essentially start fresh, still understand that the Ether story from Black Ops 1 through 4, or I should say World at War through Black Ops 4, still matters, but if you missed all that, you won't be lost when trying to get used to this new Ether reboot in 2020. So, what I also mean by that is, even though their budget is quite low right now, there's no way that they only hired them to come on for Blackout. They have to be setting up something. So, whether it's a cameo in the Call of the Dead remake, or whether they're setting up Danny Trejo as Pablo in a retconned way for the reboot, is unknown, but it has to be something along those lines. There's no way that they use whatever budget they have left just to bring on a celebrity for Operation Apocalypse Z. It's also not a coincidence that we have M Shadows from Revenge Sevenfold also teaming up with Treyarch lately, not just for some Blackout loot, but also has to be for some type of remix of Not Ready to Die in this upcoming DLC 4 remake. But once again, this could easily be setting up something very big for the upcoming reboot. And in all honesty, even though DLC 4 and 5 will be wrapping up a lot of loose ends, I do think it'll really be laying some really strong foundation for this new version of the Ether storyline, which again, could be a bit disconnected from the Ether we're used to, but at the same time, still directly follows the events of whatever happens in DLC 4 for Black Ops 4 Zombies. Let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments section. Do you guys think Danny Trey will be featured in a cameo for Call of the Dead? Could it be retconned as Pablo Marinus in the upcoming Ether reboot? Do you guys think the Ether reboot for Black Ops Zombies will feature the same test subjects we all know of from the Ether storyline except they'll be playable and they'll be going on adventures instead of the usual Ultimus or Primus group? Leave all your thoughts about that as well as what you think about Ultimus Takio barfing in the PC files. That's about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Check all links down below in the description and peace out everyone. <laughs>